What it do, man? You know what time it is. We're back with the fourth episode in the hour. First and foremost, I would like to give a very special shout out to uh, all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for your direct support to the platform. Second of all, shout out to all of my moderators. Thank you guys for regulating the chat and making sure it remains respectful. Uh, third of all, shout out to all of my regular viewers. Our audiences are growing each and every single day. All by the way of consistency and it's an amazing sight to see. And we're going to keep doing that. So if you guys are new and you like the face you see and the voice you hear, tap the follow and the bell button immediately right now. That way you guys can be solidified within the audience. I would love to have you. We're growing each and every single day. So with that being said, man, tap the follow and the bell button. But the most important thing you guys can currently do is to uh, double tap the screen because once we get to 2K likes, we'll be able to begin the conversation on the current topic that we would like to have. So yeah, man. Um, Everybody double tap the screen and also uh, everybody comment their city, your state, or your country, you know, because I've always found it very quite interesting how we're able to communicate from several different locations all around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like to tell people all the time, man, we global, not local. Uh, we laying it down on the ground. So, yeah, man, um, tap the like button. Uh, leave a comment down, preferably to ladies, but I don't mind talking to respectable gentlemen as well. Uh, now's the best time to socialize because once we get to 2K likes, I'll be completely concentrated and delegated to giving my message. So yeah, man, everybody tap the like button. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to sit around and do what we do. And yeah, man, we're going to have a good time. Uh, yeah, man, we're doing what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, episode number three, episode number four, episode 3.5, man, we doing it how we doing it. So make sure you go tap that follow button and a uh, quick interruption. If you guys... Um, want to uh, make sure you do this I don't know if you want to uh, message me outside of here for either my discord or my snapchat those are the two best ways to stay up to date with me so with that being said yeah 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 man we're gonna do what we do and my moderator is gonna get people up out of here that don't need to be in here yeah 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 um see I don't mind when ladies say that don't don't remove her that's a lady yeah don't don't remove ladies for saying like that you know what I'm saying the minute that we start getting guys saying comments like that, that's when we gotta remove them. But don't remove ladies for saying stuff like that to me, Tyler. No, no, homie. Let the ladies embrace the presence. They like what they see, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They like to commentate. They like to say what they like, homie. Y'all know how I am about my ladies. Don't don't take my ladies up out of here for saying that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Until I say, yeah, yeah. If it's a dude though, you gotta get him up out of here, homie. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't no man be coming up in my life saying nothing like that. Oh, gee, you see what Mia said? Tell her, tell her, Mia. They they sitting around doing what they doing, man. Yeah, 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 man. We doing what we doing. Man, but hey, man, if they doing that, that says everything about them and nothing with me. Let the ladies embrace me and chase me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because one thing about me is you can never replace me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man, I do what I do. And I give ladies mental safaris and I give out a good game, man. So with that being said, everybody keep hitting that like button. And make sure you tap the follow on the bell button right now. In any case, my live is to get inconveniently interrupted. That way you guys can catch the next episodes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 man. If those guys took that same amount of confidence and focused on their accomplishments and their conversations with ladies, they might have something going. But they ain't got no motion. That's why they in my comment session screaming. And one thing about comments is they're not read out loud themselves. So if I choose not to acknowledge them, it's almost as if you never typed them. So keep wasting your time. Uh, attention is the most expensive form of currency. So I'm going to keep using it, homie. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. We doing what we do. So we have 1K likes, man. We need 1K more. Then we'll be able to speak on the topic at hand. So with that being said, man, everybody keep doing what you're doing. This is how we do. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing, man. We're going to get there. And once we get there, we're going to speak on what we're speaking on, you know? Yeah, man, we're going to speak on what we're speaking on, homie. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we sitting around and giving out a good game, man. The topic you'll find out once we get to 2K. Got club going up. On a Monday. Yeah, on a Monday. Yeah, 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 man. Doing it how we do it. You know what I'm saying? How my week been, man? My week been great, man. I've been doing it the way I'm supposed to. Uh, having a lot of fun. And just looking at everything going on around the world, you know? Yeah, man, looking at everything going on around the world. Um, that's just how it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Living life. Uh, trying to become a better version of myself than I was the previous day abstaining from reaching out to people who don't actually care or nor benefit yeah, it's just like man you got to be really really uh selective with who you spend your time with straight up so hey man we're coming up on 2k thank you guys so much for all of your likes be like the cool kids for some cool kids i'm very excited for this weekend but anyways without further ado we're gonna get to this topic of conversation so if you guys comment past this point i promise i'm not ignoring you i just got to make sure you know i get the entirety of my message out before i respond to any comments so leave me plenty of comments to read and respond to on mod you know what to do but look so i'm seeing this situation with elon right 
And I'm seeing certain things that are going on, like in California, where people are saying, homie, by 2035, you have to have an electric car. And that's very alarming to me, because let me just tell you, before I ever had an electric car, I wanted an electric car so bad, because it just seems so cool. The technologies, the capabilities, you know, just what it seems like it would do for not only you, but for the environment, whatever the case may be. But when you think about this, when there are power outages, what does it affect? Everything that needs power, right? So imagine if the powers that be wanted to control you and you have a electric car, what would they do? They would cause a power outage to where you can't charge your car. And guess what? If you can't charge a car, uh, you can't travel nowhere. Uh, what's the point of driving a car that is so smart that they can figure out where you're going to go? They can tell you how many miles you can drive. You see, privacy is something that has to be respected. I like the way the Teslas look, but I don't like the control that they have. You're now hearing about vehicles that have the ability, if you miss a car payment, they can eject you out and drive themselves to a repo center. And this is why I'm saying, man, when I'm looking at things like this, it makes me say, okay, what is the motive? Make it marketable. Make it seem really desirable and convenient. And that's what will get the people's approval. But guess what? How can you use that against the people? You see, before you get excited about anything new, you have to ask yourself, okay, this is to make things easier for me. But right now it could be used to make things easier. But how could they make this harder? Okay, you got to go charge a car. But guess what? You can't charge a car now because there's a power outage. Okay, you want to drive to Chicago tomorrow to see your grandfather, but you've been told you can only drive 50 miles this week. And if you go over the limit, you are no longer allowed access in this car. It's kind of like that uh, GTA game. You can get in the car, right? But if someone puts their options to where you can't open that door, you can't open that door no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, uh, man, you could be the strongest person in the world. You could tell Dwayne The Rock Johnson, hey, homie, can you open my door? He ain't going to be able to open the door. You see... When you give them the power to program, you also give them the power to control. So that's what I'm sitting around and saying 2035. This is in California. They use particular places as guinea pig sightings. What do I mean by that? They're going to use it to test the waters. Okay, we do this. Is people going to trip? If we take this away, what are they going to say? And if you allow someone to take something small from you without telling them, hey, man, you're not supposed to put your hands on nothing that belongs to me. Hey, man, but they, they take your dustpan. Oh, man, you just took the dustpan. I don't need no dustpan. Next thing you know, they take your vacuum cleaner. Oh, man, it's all good, man. They take my vacuum cleaner. And next thing you know, they take everything you have. It's like the book, you give a mouse a cookie. So I'm sitting around and saying we get into a point where people are just so susceptible to accepting anything that comes their way that they're not even being aware. They're not even being mindful to the fact that, homie, they have control. You see, there's a particular currency that's going on in a particular place. I'm not going to say what I say. You got to read in between the lines because I have to word myself properly when I'm speaking about topics of this. But there's a specific currency depending upon what you say, depending upon what you believe in and the clothes you wear. They are able to control what food you're going to get. They're able to control what type of water you're going to get. They're able to control how your resume is going to look to potential suitors for a job. You see, this is the danger when it comes to making things too convenient because it puts a cap on your development as a human being. It's not okay. It's safe to say it ain't safe outside. But what I'm saying is, man, y'all got to pay attention because just because it's not in your front yard and it's affecting a neighborhood down the street, doesn't mean it won't be coming to your neighborhood. Guess what? The ice cream truck. It'll go to a particular neighborhood. And you just hear the ice cream truck. Oh, man, man, the ice cream truck, man. If it comes over here, I'll get ice cream. But if it don't, I, I mean, I don't care, man. It's over there. Next thing you know, you start hearing the ice cream truck announcing your neighborhood. And now it wants to, I want to party with you. Yeah, they want to, I just want to rock right now. I, I, I want to rock right. The electric cars is becoming alarming to me, and I no longer desire to have one. When someone else can control my steering wheel besides me, when someone else can control my brakes when I'm on the highway, I'm cool on that, homie. Yeah, 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 you can keep your cool gadgets. Uh, I don't care if you have a, a fountain, a soda fountain pop drink dispenser in your dashboard, homie. You can keep that to yourself. Inspector Gadget. No, I'm cool on that. 
Think about what I just said, man. Electronic cars might not be the way, homie. And who's programming these cars? Whose company is it? Y'all know who it is. What's his agenda? What does he know that we don't know? So with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and read the comment section for the next 45 seconds. If you guys would like to extend this current episode, I need to see 1K diamonds or gifts. But if not, that's absolutely fine. Make sure that all of you message me after this live for either my Discord or my Snapchat. Those are the two best ways to stay up to date with everything I've got planned. So I'm going to come back with potentially one more episode, minimally two max. And yeah, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. So I'm going to read these comments, man. And make sure if you guys haven't already, you tap that subscription star and get your subscription today. I'm working my way to 23 subs, and we're going to keep on working each and every single day. And once we reach it, we're going to raise the bar, baby. Okay, I'm scrolling up. Shout out to Jordan for the follow. Thank you so much. Oh, actually, you got blocked on me. Goodbye. It's never a ride time. Shout out to 1975 for the follow. Thank you, um... Soul for everything that you sent, buddy. Appreciate it. And I'm seeing a lot of notifications at the bottom, which means some people are getting blocked. You love to see it. Probably the, it's the most wonderful notification of the year. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in and tapping in. I'll be right back with the next episode. We'll make it the best episode. Peace. <laughs>